Hello, in this video, you're going to learn how to display 3D components like your player character inside of a widget. So this is done in games like Zelda Breath of the Wild and Fortnite, and today you're going to learn how to do it in Unreal Engine. And if you want to learn more about how you can use a 3D overlay system like this in your game, I'm working on a brand new course, how to make an RPG inventory system. In it, you'll learn how to make many things like a dynamic and modular inventory system with a drag and drop system and when I drag items onto my player character we can see it updates in real time and you'll learn a lot more. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. With that said, let's get into the tutorial. Hello! To get started, let's first create our user interface where we're going to show our 3D character in. So if I just go over to my um, third person folder, I'm going to right click and create a new folder and just call this widgets. Then I'm just going to double click and open this up and I'm just going to right click again and go user interface, select a widget blueprint, I'll select the user widget and I'll just call this my widget blueprint underscore 3D overlay. Let's just double click and open this up. I'll expand it and if I just go over to my palette I'm going to look for a canvas panel and I'm just going to drag this in here. Then I'm going to look for a background blur and let's just drag this inside of our canvas panel. If we select the background blur, let's go over to anchors and select this one in the bottom right. And let's just give this an anchor offset value of zero in all its values. This will stretch the background blur across our whole canvas panel. And if I just select my background blur, let's go over to blur strength and let's make it something like 10. I think that's good. And let's just compile this. And then I'm just gonna go over to my blueprints and to my third person character. You then begin play after it basically adds the controls to our game. We just want to drag up here and look for create widget. The widget we want to create is going to be our widget blueprint 3D overlay. And just right click and promote this to a variable. And we can just call this our 3D widget. Then I'm going to make it so when I press the I button, it'll basically show my widget blueprint 3D overlay. And then when I press the I button again, it'll basically close it. In Unreal Engine, they do have this enhanced input system, although this tutorial is more focused on creating a 3D widget. So I'm just gonna make it so when I press the I button, it shows this. I'm not gonna use Unreal Engine's new enhanced input system. So if I just right click and look for the I key, here it is. I can just drag in my 3D widget. I wanna get it and I wanna see if it's visible. So I'll look for is visible. I'll drag off here and look for branch. Connect from here into here. Now we don't show our widget initially, so initially this is going to be false. So what I want to do is drag in my 3D widget, get it, then just drag off here and for add to viewport, and this will add my widget to my screen. Then if my widget is visible, when I press the I button, we want to hide it, so I can just drag in my 3D widget, get it, then just drag off here and look for the remove from parent node, and connect from true into here. And if I just go compile, let's close this and then go play. When I press I, my screen is blurry. When I press I again, my screen is no longer blurry because I've removed that widget. Now let's make that widget basically show a 3D overlay of our third person player character. If I just go over to my viewport, I'm just gonna go to components and go add, and look for a scene capture component 2D. And we just wanna move this and place it so it's somewhere in front of your player character. So somewhere around like here should be good. I'll just move mine up a bit. Then we just want to scroll down. This has a texture target. We're basically going to store this. So what we need to do is just close this. And then inside our third person character folder, we just want to right click and create a new folder. Call this render targets, then double click and open it up. And we just want to right click again, go texture and select render target. And just call this our render target underscore mannequin and just double click and open it up and I want to change the resolution so it's a bit wider so it's 1024 by 1024 because the default resolution is kind of small just save this go back to our third person character and here under texture target we're going to change this to be the render target mannequin and as you can see there's already like a preview of our mannequin next if we just compile this close this and then I'm just going to go over to my widgets and over to the widget blueprint 3D overlay. I want to look for an image and I'll just drag this in to my canvas panel. So just drag it inside there and then let's make the size x 1024 
and the size Y1024. And if I just change the brush to be the render target underscore mannequin. Okay, and as you may have noticed, some things look a bit incorrect. There's this black background and it's not actually showing our mannequin. So we need to fix a couple of things. I'm just going to anchor this to the top left though. So let's go over how we'd fix this. If I just go back to my third person character, we want to go over here where it says event begin play. After we add our controls to our game, we want to just drag in our scene capture component 2D and just drag off here and look for the show only actor components and then just drag off here and this will just make sure it only shows my third person character and what they have. We just want to connect this before we show our um, before we create our widget. So let's just move that here and this here. And I'll just move this back a bit. Then we just want to compile this, close this, and we want to go back to our render target folder. And we're actually going to create a material. So if I just right click and go material, and let's just call this my M underscore mannequin. I will double click and open it up. And we just want to briefly close this and drag in our render target mannequin. And then if we just select here, we're going to use this material in our UI. So we just want to go over to material domain and change this to be user interface. Connect this RGB into the final color. And if you remember last time, this kind of had a black background. In order to basically fix this and make sure that there's no black background, what we can do is just select this uh, material and change the blend mode to be translucent. Then we just want to drag off this alpha value and look for the one minus node. This will basically remove the black background and make sure it shows our mannequin. And just connect this into opacity then go apply. And we just want to go back to our widget blueprint 3D overlay, select it and change this to be the M underscore mannequin material that we just made. And as we can see, it's just our 3D mannequin. It's a bit far, so let's just compile this, go back to our third person character and move it so the camera is closer. Okay, that's a bit too close. We can also play around with the field of view. So if I increase this like to 120, then go compile, it'll be further away, but that looks kind of distorted. So I'll just leave mine at 90 and let's just try moving it a bit, a bit further away. So just play around with this. I'll just find a value I'm happy with. And now if I close this and I click play on my game, when I press the I button, we can see a 3D overlay of our third person character, which is showing in a widget blueprint element. Nice. And if you would like to further learn how we can use this, I am working on a new course, how to make an RPG inventory system. And we use this to basically show how our character is in their inventory. And we'll make it so we can basically drag and drop and equip some items on them and it will update in real time so our player character can actually see what items they're wearing. And in that course we go about making an inventory system and a lot more. If that sounds of interest to you, you can check it out. It'll be the first link in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and also comment what other type of tutorials you'd like to see me make. I'm going to try and do the most popular comments which people request.